The U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says companies can require COVID vaccinations for their employees. The agency released updated guidelines last week. It's already causing concern among some workers who don't want their employers having access to personal medical information. Under this new guidance, some workers can still be exempt, but employers can also legally provide a number of vaccine incentives, including cash. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News Money Watch reporter Megan Cerullo. Welcome, Megan. Thanks very much for joining us. So the new EEOC update mentions that employers can offer vaccine incentives as long as they're not, quote unquote, coercive. What exactly does that mean and what potential legal issues does that pose? That's a very good question that has stumped even um, experts and employment opportunities who say they were hoping for more clarity from the EEOC as far as uh, what is an acceptable incentive and, and what's not, because what's considered, what I interpret as coercive is could be different from what you or another employee interprets as coercive. So they were hoping for examples or uh, limits, cash limits, for example. Um, Right now, employers are offering all sorts of incentives. Uh, my colleague Kate Gibson wrote about um, companies offer incentives ranging from donuts uh, to free marijuana. Uh, Walmart, for example, is is giving is giving employees who get the vaccine seventy five dollars. So cash bonuses are among those incentives that employers are offering to their workers who do get vaccinated. Well, talk to us a little about the effort by some states to introduce legislation to ban vaccine mandates. There are over 80 pieces of, of legislation have been introduced across the country aimed at, at banning private companies from requiring their employers to get the vaccine and also protecting workers who choose not to become vaccinated from, from repercussions. But the EEOC's uh, guidance is an interpretation of federal law, and the EEOC has said that um, companies can mandate the vaccine without running afoul of federal law, and federal law will always uh, trump uh, state law. The EEOC has said, however, that companies must provide exemptions for, for certain employees. For example, the Americans with Disabilities Act uh, re would require employers to uh, provide an exemption for um, those workers who have a medical condition that makes it unsafe for them to, to get the vaccine. Uh, similarly, workers who have sincerely held religious beliefs could be exempt under uh, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. So employers do have to uh, abide by those as well. Well, a number of companies are now offering on-site COVID vaccinations. What are employers doing to safeguard employees' personal medical information? This is another potentially thorny issue because prior to receiving the COVID-19 vaccine, anyone who is administering the shot does have to conduct a medical screening to make sure it's safe for, for the recipient to actually be, become vaccinated. But that information must be kept separate. Uh, it must be stored separate from, from an employee's regular personnel file. So this should not be included in the same area where for example, a, a performance review might be included. And it's not information that a worker's colleagues or even managers should necessarily have access to it, unless it's required that a manager understand why they uh, aren't showing up to the workplace if, if they've been provided with an accommodation. Um, but it's important that it be kept separate and that it be uh, protected and not disclosed unless absolutely necessary. And finally, what is the latest guidance on requiring masks in the workplace, and what are the potential issues, potential issues rather, with that? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recently uh, issued guidance saying that it, it no longer recommends masks for individuals who are fully vaccinated, and a number of states have subsequently lifted mask mandates, leaving it up to uh, employers and private companies to set their own policies. And this could be a, a touchy issue in the workplace, for example, if a company decides that vaccinated employees don't need to wear masks, but unvaccinated employees do, that could be potentially revealing about uh, an employee's, that could sort of reveal sensitive medical information. It also puts the employer in the position of having to police their workforce. And 
if that means approaching employees who aren't wearing masks and saying, okay, you must be vaccinated, right? Or employee, uh, approaching employees who are wearing masks and asking them to to disclose their vaccination status, that that could put them, that could raise issues, and um, and there could be a flurry of, of lawsuits that arise from that. Yeah, there's so many open questions as these companies try to think about returning back uh, to their workplaces. Megan Cerullo for us. Megan, thank you very much. Thanks so much.